Okay, so um, this tutorial is just a, a follow-up to creating the uh, animated photo banner. Um, I just was asked by someone how to add a couple more and also uh, how to loop it so that it looks seamless and goes over and over without an obvious restart. So um, just to start with, I'll just press enter so you can sort of see what happens. I've got one photo, it fades out and is replaced by another one which is on a different layer and it sits there um, until the 79th frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add another couple of photos and then I'll have the last one fade out and be replaced by this first first one here which will fade in. So uh, what I'll do is I'll add a new layer and I'm just going to call this one Rugby because I have some rugby players. And uh, over in my library I've actually already imported uh, two images. One is this Rugby one and the other is Swimmer. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and add a keyframe in frame 79 to the rugby layer and uh, that's where I want the, the rugby one to appear. Uh, so I'll go ahead and drag that in and um, I'll just go control K which opens up the align tab here on the right and notice it's two stage and I'll hit the two center buttons and now that sits centered. Um, now before I do anything else with that though, I'm just going to make that layer invisible. So I'll click on that dot there. And uh, I just need to deal with the fade out effect of the family photo here. So I'm just going to repeat what I did in that early tutorial, which is where I'm going to add a keyframe for the end of the fade. So right click, insert keyframe. And now I'll click on the symbol. And under color, I'll just change that to alpha and slide it down to 0% and it disappears. Uh, and as before, because I want to go from being 100% gradually down to 0% and disappear, I'll right click in here and choose Create Motion Tween. So now I should get this fade out effect. Okay, so I'll just come back up here and get my rugby layer back. I'll click on that first keyframe. Now uh, notice as well before I do anything more that this photo has the grey box around the outside. That means that it's a bitmap image still. So Flash won't fade that out for me, so I need to convert it to a symbol. The shortcut for that is F8. So I push F8 on my keyboard and if it comes I'll make it a graphic called Rugby. Click OK. Now uh, I want that to be invisible to begin with, so I'll click on the symbol, come down to properties, choose alpha and it's automatically gone to zero. Uh, now I'll go to frame 100 insert a keyframe for the end of this fading in animation and I click on the symbol there I can bring it up to 100% and again because I want it to be a gradual fade in I need to get Flash to do that for me and that's create motion tween and now I have the family layer fading out and the rugby layer fading in so I'll just repeat that again um, I'll add a new layer I will call that swimmer and that's going to be the layer where my swimmer photo comes in. Before I add anything else to it though I need the rugby photo to sit here for a few seconds so I'll just right click into the keyframe and when it fades out um, I'll just right click keyframe there it is there so this little bit in here that's going to be my fade out section so I'll click on the symbol itself in the last frame there last frame and I'll just lower the alpha down to zero and again right click and add a motion tween so now I've got that fade out. So on my swimmer layer which is this top one here at the same time the rugby one begins to fade I need the swimmer one to fade in so I'll insert a keyframe and that is the one that down here in my library find the swimmer small there it is I'll drag the swimmer onto my stage and again with the align panel I will center that on the stage. Again it's a graphic so I need to convert that to a symbol. Uh, I can also do that by using the modify and convert to symbol menu and I'll call that one swimmer. Done. Now I want that to be at zero there and 100% here so I'll insert my keyframe and there it is there at 100% my first keyframe, I'll click on the swimmer 
and lower the alpha to zero. And as always, I want it to be a fade in, so I'll right click and get flash to do that for me with the motion twang. So now my swimmer fades in. Now what I'll do here is I'll just have my swimmer photo stay there for a little bit. So I'll insert another keyframe. And that's the patch with the so you can see now swimmer fades in, stays here, and then I'll make it fade out by adding an extra keyframe. And in that keyframe it's where I want it to be zero alpha. And I want it to be gradual fade instead of just disappearing like that. So I right click, create motion tween and flash does the fade for me. So now if I actually tested this what would happen is as it goes through the swim will fade out and disappear completely to be replaced by, and if I just jump to the start, frame one which is the photo so there's no fade in effect. So what I'll do is I'm actually going to come right back here to where the swimmer, the frame where the swimmer begins to fade out. I'm actually going to insert a keyframe on my cyclist's layer. So you see how that adds all these extra frames, and I'm not going to worry too much about that because it's not going to affect the file size too drastically. Um, so there it is there, and I want it to be fully visible in that frame there. So this little patch here is going to be where my cyclist photo fades in. Now you can see as I sort of scrub the timeline here it's not fading in which means it's still at 0% which makes sense because it was at 0% way back here when it faded out. What I need to do then is change it to 100% in this last frame. Now it's often quite hard to select it because notice as soon as I click on the stage um, it automatically then selects the swimmer because that's on the higher layer so I'll just make the swimmer layer invisible click on the cyclist final keyframe and now when I click down here I get the instance of a cyclist so I've actually selected the correct um, item there so I'll just raise the alpha up to 100% again add another motion tween to make it a nice gentle one and now it should fade in oh no because I have to make the swimmer layer visible so now the swimmer fades out to be replaced by the cyclist and if I go control enter to test this now and here it goes down the bottom I sit through the fades it should hopefully finish with a nice smooth fade and begin again so here we go here comes the swimmer she stays there for a few seconds fades out to be replaced by the cyclist and we start again so there you have it that is how to have your animated photo banner um, have more than one photo and also scroll through uh, endlessly without any notable jumps, seamlessly I guess. There you go, thank you.